Today, I'll be showing you the best settings in CS2 for visibility and max performance. I'm going to be showing comparisons and benchmarks just to show you exactly why these settings matter for competitive play. Now let's get into it. Now for basic video settings. I have an entire video on just resolutions themselves with comparisons and benchmarks for all of them. So check that out if you want to go into detail. But to sum it up, if you want the best clarity for stretched, 1440 by 1080 is the way to go. However, in this video, performance is a priority too. So let's just stick with 1280 by 960, the classic popular resin CS2 for a reason. Great performance and nice and stretched. Obviously, you just want to turn up refresh rate to the max. And for display mode, feel free just to keep it on full screen. However, you can go to full screen windowed if you want as it's just as good now. Now let's get into the real settings. First setting is boost player contrast. Some people say it doesn't do anything. However, when you take a look at these comparisons, as you can see, it really does. It is a little subtle at first glance, but as you can see, the CT in the tunnel is a little darker. Same with the CT way in the back. As you can see, boosting player contrast just gives enemies a sharper look that makes them stand out more. So you definitely want this on. Now the most important option in this whole video, MSAA. This setting has a big impact on performance, but also very important for visibility. I won't sugarcoat it. As you can see in the comparisons between no MSA and max settings MSA, you might be missing out on some important vision as you can see here. On the max setting eight times, it allows you to see clear through fences and other grading material like on vertigo. If you don't have it on at all, you're cooked. You're not going to see a thing. This is why I suggest at least putting it on two times. Because as you can see between two times and eight times, it's not a big difference. However, the frames you're saving, it makes it a lot more worth it. And just to show you how much of an impact this one setting has on FPS, as you can see in my benchmarks, on MSAA disabled, I got an average FPS of 44. And then on 8, I dropped to an average of 406. 38 lower frames per second on average. And then on 2, I got a nice safe 425. As you can see, this is why I would say it's the safest option if you really want max performance. But overall, once again, for max visibility and performance, keep it on 2. Now global shadow quality, you can just keep that on low. This used to control how far shadows were drawn near the start of CS2, but after a few updates, it just doesn't matter anymore. Just keep it on low for the FPS. So as you can see, not much changes besides the smoothness of the shadows themselves. Now dynamic shadows, this is an important one as well. Ensure you have it set to all. If it's just set to sun only, any inside map, you're going to be missing out on some details. Here's a quick comparison once again showing this. Now texture detail and shadow detail are a bit interesting. As you can see with shadow and model detail low, textures and models just appear a bit lighter but it also makes some spots a little darker as you can see in this tunnel now when you turn these settings on high most of the textures and player models appear a bit darker however the tunnel itself is a little brighter and it just kind of adds more contrast which makes the player models appear a bit more this does impact fps a little bit so all in all, it's really hard to say if it gives that big of an advantage and it all just kind of depends where you're standing. So in my opinion, let's just leave them on low. However, if you can sacrifice the frames and you think it looks like an advantage, you could try putting it high. Now, texture filtering mode. This has hardly any impact on FPS and in game, it's really subtle. However, people have said that you can see better having it set to bilinear when using a low res but it's hard to say. As you can see, it just makes texture details appear a little farther and more detailed at a distance. Visibility wise, I don't see too many differences, but I feel at a distance, you can see the CT stick out a bit more on bilinear. However, if you like the extra details, just put it on max, as like I said, it doesn't impact FPS much. Now particle detail, it's really hard to see the difference on this one, especially in the flames. In my opinion, keep this on low just for performance reasons. I just don't see any justification having it higher. As seen in the comparison, not much changes. Ambient occlusion simply just adds more shadows. Back in the day, you might have wanted this on, but now you're going to turn it off for that extra FPS. As seen here, you can see it just adds darker shadows. For example, in the back there on the stairs, it's a lot darker. HDR quality, if you have this on performance, you're making a big mistake. Keep it on quality 
as you can see in dark spots it really adds a lot of grain fidelity fx make sure you have this on disabled this simply just makes your resolution actually crystal clear if you have it on any other option it's going to look a lot more blurry and by the way i forgot to mention frame pacing i just keep it on enabled and vsync off all in all, you're set for the best performance and you're not missing out on any visibility advantages and you've got them all. I may have missed some things, so if I did, make sure to leave a comment. Now I hope this helped and peace out.